Hi, my name is Faith Aramosby and I played Emily Hamilton in the film Impromptu. This is a student-made film from Billings Central Catholic High School and we would love for you to see some of the behind-the-scenes footage that went into the making of this film. Somehow we know what we're doing. Your close-ups. Um, I'm going to have Kate read to you what those angles will be. With the filming of Impromptu, we had an incredible experience that had to be done very, very quickly. I mean, we basically had only one weekend in order to film this. So over the course of a three-day weekend, we averaged about 10 to 14 hours a day uh, filming and being on set and preparing the shots. And so that was definitely one of the high points of the film was just surviving that and then making a great film from it. Another really incredible part about this film was just the professionalism that went into it. I mean, it started out as an idea uh, on a speech and drama bus and then we were able to take that idea, turn it into a script and a screenplay and then take it from the page to the storyboard to then actually filming it uh, across eight different filming locations in the course of only three quick days. Hi, I'm Nate Germanson and I was the... <laughs> Line! <laughs> One thing I learned in this film was that being an actor is a lot harder than it looks on a movie because, you know, there's cameras on you and you have to memorize stuff. Hi, I'm Blaine Meyer, and I played the role of Gabby. I learned that practicing the scenes before you do them is really helpful. Uh, one thing I learned in the movie was uh, it takes way longer than I expected, I guess. Getting everything organized and all that kind of stuff was really difficult, and it took a lot of time. Hi, I'm Brendan Kaiser. I play Lucas in Impromptu. One of the things I loved about filming this movie was that we just came closer as a film family in general. It's in one of the black bags. One of the okay. black bags. Uh, late Saturday, this is going to be the last set of the day, Sassy Biscuit. And right now, we're just waiting for one, everybody to show up. God help us. Yeah, and two, <laughs> for the lights to go down a little bit. This is the one location where we won't have to worry about planes or noise, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, oh my god, the planes were driving <laughs> us nuts. Oh. Carter, yeah? are we still filming? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Hopefully we can get the mics to work this time. And hopefully Faith kind of remembers her line. Uh, I was more worried about Nate, but whatever. It's a good point. Line. They can't even... I think you're coming off there. Yeah, so, so. <laughs> um, genius millionaire quant... Why? Mm. You're supposed to get up. You can't find your worst nightmare. Oh, you're me trapped in Guantanamo Bay? Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> Because I'm your worst nightmare. You're me stuck in what? Moderately? I want to hit you pretty hard right now. We all kind of worked together in a really interesting way, and it felt really professional when we did it, which also inspired uh, me, Joe, and Claire to work on our film, Manic Red, and it really helped us see. You can make a student film seem so professional, even with, you know, not much of a budget compared to a lot of other Hollywood films, but still make something full of heart and expertise. I'm not even in film, which is kind of funny, but I just kind of got thrown into being the hair and makeup director. And I gotta say, it was probably one of the best things I've ever done. Um, I made friendships that'll last a lifetime. None of us knew each other in school, but when we came together, we, we just had this bond that I don't think anyone else would have. <laughs> hey Nate, what's, what's going on here? Uh, I am getting mic'd up for my final speech. But my favorite memory was just up in the rafters looking down at Nate with the spotlight on, just seeing everyone mesmerized at his speech. It was. Amazing. Something that I learned from Impromptu this year was the importance of flexibility. I'm not in film, but I thought it'd be fun to participate, and I was expecting to everything to just kind of go as planned or follow the script, but I learned that that's not always how it works, and you really need to be able to be flexible and uh, willing to work with what you have in order to make the film a success. One of the lower points of the film, uh, at least for me, would have to be when we were flying the drone to get a test shot for a kind of a crane maneuver we were hoping to do. Uh, I'm not a very skilled drone pilot, it would seem, and I didn't tell Claire, who was driving my car, to drive extra, extra slow 
so that I could keep up with her. So as Claire speeds off into the sunset, I tried to catch up to her and um, suddenly a tree popped up out of nowhere and um, killed the drone. So I owe Mr. Hanser some money. Throughout this whole movie impromptu, I think that the biggest inspiration for me was to get an insight of what it's like to make films. Because my father, Victor Schilhoff, works in LA for Sony Pictures right now and makes movies. And so I just wanted to know what it was like to get a feel for what he does every day. And I never knew how like tough it was. Like, and it was just, it was crazy, but it was something I wouldn't ever change. Like, it was a once in a lifetime experience and I appreciate every part of it. How cold is it outside? Not, not uh, considering not how nervous I am that this goes well, I am sweating right now. Um, it was just such a real experience because um, while like filming the whole thing, we had like the car moving and the glass thrown at us and um, you know, like the blood on the ground and the police cars there. So it just, um, in a way, it kind of felt like real, but um, just like through it all, you can just tell that we worked really hard on it. Three, two, one, go! My name is Corey Miller and I'm the assistant to Nathaniel Germanson, the lead actor in this movie, Impromptu. And I was also one of the cinematographers. And one of the hardest things was when Mr. Fairbanks was telling me what he wanted the shot to look like. I, I, I didn't know what, exactly what he was asking for, but I guess I figured it out. Nice and straight, and no one's on it, there's no parked cars. And Claire's just gonna drive. I'm assuming this is kind of illegal. Only slightly. <laughs> and lastly, we would like to thank our sponsors. First of all, the Billing Central Catholic High School for supporting us as we went through this process. Then we would like to thank Pinup Productions for supporting us and for helping fund this movie. Montana Bombshell Photography for taking some wonderful pictures and headshots of us. The Sassy Biscuit Company for providing a great venue with delicious food. The Word of Life Fellowship for providing our stage. The Standish Family for providing our house and the dollies. The Montana State University College of Nursing for providing us with a hospital room. And lastly, the Art House Cinema and Pub for letting us premiere our movies. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy the film.